Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to Starfield. It has been a little bit since I've been able to play. I am so... Oh, my light's on. I'm so happy to be playing this right now. You have no fucking idea. It has been a good, good, like, three or four days since I've been able to play. And holy shit, does it feel good. So, as I was setting up the recording... I know everyone's uh, Miss, excited by the artifacts. But Miss Noel here well uh, handed me a note process. from my dad saying that he was desperate to see me or excited. Can't tell the difference between the two right now. So, I think, first of all, that is what we are going to start with. Secondly, uh, gotta do a little spin first, remember that. Anyway, so the plan today, after we go and visit our parents, we are going to be continuing the main quest. And so far, uh, well, we've gotten one artifact since uh, we started the Free Star Ranger questline. And this space cowboy is ready to explore the universe. I look so tired. But anyway, ready to explore the universe, ready to do some shit. But yeah, first, Dad wants to speak to me. I picked up something you might be interested in. Oh? You've got something for me? You have something interesting for me? I is it do. a leaf? You. Oh, Time you've evolved go. from leaves to roots. Hello, mother, father, hello. Was there something you want to speak to me about? Hello. That Aquila City bank robbery story on SSNN, that was you, right? Yes. Of course it was. Oh, I was so proud. My child, on the news. I nearly dropped my drink. You were dealing with bank robbers? Bank robbers, exploration, all part of the service. Constellation's mandates are broader than I thought. As soon as I saw that story, I talked with Linda. You know Mrs. Ming across the hall, and she didn't believe me. I swear our friends think we're making you up. I almost want you to show up in your finest Constellation outfit at poker night, just so I can show them. I could show up with my ranger badge if you like. <laughs> Wait, you're a ranger too? <laughs> I swear. I'm a space cowboy. But next time, let us know you got a story coming on. Well, Might all right. save your dad from having a heart attack. I figured it would be years until I saw you again. And here you are. I'm here. Do I have news? I want to hear it. <laughs> oh, your father has been as anxious as a kid on Christmas. I'm excited. Anyway... So, you know about my card game, right? Been playing for years. Why, yes, I do. You talk about your poker night all the time. Do I? Well, I was in the game of my life. Me and another lady, we went all in and then some. After I called, she had four of a kind, queens. But I had an honest-to-God straight flush. Honey, he doesn't need to hear the play-by-play. -play. Oh, I'm interested in this the play-by-play. -play. It is. I'm here. I'm, here to so I'm ready to hear it. I won. I won big. The biggest pot of my life. Uh, that's wonderful and a little scary, but mostly wonderful. <laughs> I kept my poker face, even if I felt like letting my insides out. But the big kicker is, I won myself a ship. A real starship. It's real, sweetie. We, we went to the docks and looked at it and everything. Oh. Well, there's no way I'll ever fly it. So we had no idea what to do with the damn thing. Sell it. And then it came to me. You. Uh, wait, that's such an amazing gift. W wow. Your expression makes it totally worth I'm it. I'm totally not going to sell it. All the paperwork's my already been taken care of. Keep oh. it, sell it. I don't care what you do with it. I just hope it makes up for all the money you keep sending home. To be honest, Dad, it's not me. hadn't been much. Nice to see you, son. It's Tell good. Me, are you doing well? Really, answer. Oh shit! I How didn't mean to you? skip skip a dialogue. Oh, I've never been better. I'm having the time of my life. I envy you, truly. When you find your calling, it can be deeply fulfilling. <laughs> All your adventures. There are so many. It's dizzying to keep track of. It worries your mother that one day you might take on more than you can deal with. Is it worth it? All that risk and danger? What I'm doing is making a real difference. 
It most certainly does. Mm -hmm. I got some years on you. My guiding star has always been find something you believe in and fight for it. For me, it's you and your mother. Every time big life decisions came up, that's what made it easy. What would be best for all of us? If you can strip away everything and answer that one question, well, it helped me. Good talk, Dad. Thank you. It's what I'm here for. It's nice to have you home. It is nice to be home. I am... Stay as long as you like. I will. Time to talk to Mom. The house feels alive again now that you're here. Yay! Of all the places we've lived, this is my favorite. You're welcome anytime. And I mean anytime. Yay! All right. I want to I wanna go in there. What's in there? Regina, the president of... Oh. Oh, I know all about her. Well, she's making me redo the whole report from scratch because oh. she oh. gave me... Oh, we the heard that. We heard that. We heard that before. No. 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 Well, I am not going to lie here. There is something that we kind of need to do. Our resource stocks are currently not... Well, they're not great. Well, no, our resource stocks are great. Uh, our resource stocks are great. Our problem is our carry weight isn't great. Should I warm up the engines? Yes. Hold on, we're going to see the new ship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I, I shouldn't laugh. That's mean. That's mean. I shouldn't laugh, but... uh. Wow. So... Real cool. Value at 85,000. Okay, so uh Forever. we're going to sell that. Hold on. I can register it for 14,000 and make 17,000 back. Why not? Sell. There we go. Mine's only worth 14,000, man. They don't know value. They don't know the value of ships, do they? Sell for 17,000. Look at that. I made some money. 10,000. It says it was worth the 100,000. 100,000 freaking shit. 49,000 for the Star Eagle. Well, we're going to sell. Sorry. Sorry. Ma sorry, Ma and Pa, but we're selling that. So, with that all done, with the selling of the ships, the other ships, we're not selling the Star Eagle, by the way. The Star Eagle is, uh, well, too important. You know what I mean, Good day, Vasco? Captain. Good day. Okay. I heard you're fluent in over two yes, I know. Uh, so today we're going to be heading back up into the... We're going to be heading back up into the stars. And we're heading straight for a place that Constellation themselves built. Ah, Sarah wants to speak. The Eye. Travel? Travel to the Eye? When sure. have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. We shall, as soon as we get where we need to go. Whoa. Where are we? What planet are we at? Are we still at? Well, let's see. Oh, whoa. Oh, this was the thing in the reveal trailer. Ah, hello. You see Sec Longsword. Hey. You been to Gagarin? City on the rise, they say. <laughs> yeah, from the grave. Uh, go to Gagarin? Okay, hey. Looking for a spot check? The hall seems good from here. Uh, okay. Just keep things civil, alright? Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, hail! The eyes open to you, Constellation. Nice! Alright, let's talk. Well, this is interesting. This is, the, this is the thing from the trailer, isn't it? From that reveal trailer that they did a long time ago? I'm pretty sure this is what this is. We're docked. Oh yeah, let's board. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Yeah, we got a few minutes right now. Remember our last conversation? When you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy. Yes. Well, it got me thinking. So I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Okay. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. That's, yeah, that's fair enough. You, you never mentioned your predecessor to me before. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. 
After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Aja just started flooding back. Aja? Aja Mamasa. She was the youngest member of Constellation when it was founded. Only took her 15 years to reach chair. Sorry, I sometimes get so caught up in my own bubble, I forget that I wasn't the first. Well, uh, I feel like we're making some good memories of our own. Oh yes, absolutely. I, I didn't mean to compare. Those were just, oh, I don't know, different times. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation and took me under her wing as her protege. The rookie being paired with the chair sounds awfully familiar. Hey, so I pinched a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? <laughs> at any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. I can relate to that. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. Duh. Uh, uh, so I've noticed. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. wonder what happened to her. Is, oh, is she a, is she dead? Hey, is she dead? No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Ah! Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions. Okay, do the best I can to make our journey just as pleasant. Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. I shall. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. Hmm. I'd like to discover more about what we have right here. I, I don't know if I deserve to be that close to anyone right now. If you knew about the things that I've done, the way my life's unfolded, I think your opinion of me might I'm change. I'm gonna romance, Please, Sarah. give me some time. I, 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 I have to go. Did I fuck up? Uh-oh. I'm sorry. Do you, oh, <gasps> she looked away from Greetings, me. Captain. Greetings, Vasco. I'm very feeling awkward. Oh, God. You, talk to me, please. Vladimir. Vladimir, get me out we of here. We got a rook on deck. Good to see Constellation getting some fresh blood. Uh, good to meet you, Vladimir. Glad you two finally have a chance to meet. Wish I could have been down at the lodge to see the artifacts come together. But I got a little lost peeking through the eye. Uh, peeking through the eye? More pirate talk. That one's all on me. The eye is the nickname for the star station. Think of it as one big telescope. Uh, someone should have grabbed you. It was incredible. <laughs> Probably would have just gotten annoyed at being bothered. I'll catch a smile at our next big revelation. You know there's more to come. Now, this station, the Eye, rigged up for deep space scans. Barrett and Sarah teased out the signs of where our artifacts could be hiding after we caught our second one. But the data takes a slow ride along the Sea of Light. Years or decades between us and the fringes of space without a grav drive. Understood. I need to check on these leads in person. Oh, well, no. Hold on. What's the Sea of Light? No matter how good the scan, it's still just peeking at light. And she only has one speed. Ultimately, we're not looking at a planet. We're looking at the radiation coming off a planet. And that takes years to get here. Mm. Lot of interstellar bodies in the way, too. All that noise makes squaring the circle harder. Only going to be able to give you so many at once. Uh, understood. I need to check on these leads in person, then. You won't be the only constellation out there. 
Andreja and Matteo are both following up on scans themselves. Matteo went out recently, but Andreja... It's been a while. Hate to pull the worried old man act on you, but I'm an old man and I'm worried. Uh, who is Andreja? Another rook in constellation who's making a name for herself. Likes to be on her own. I can relate, so I try to look out for her more than most. Ah, I get you. I'll keep an eye out for Andreja then. Yes, indeed. Stop worrying so much, Vladimir. If she's out there, we'll find her. She should be at one of the two sites I've marked on your star map. Can take care of herself, but we all need backup sometimes. Oh, don't, anyway, John, don't I know it? Hopefully you'll be catching Fortune's smile, and we'll have some more artifacts to take a closer look at. Happy hunting. Well, thank you very much, Vladimir. How did you get mixed up with Constellation? Ever run the scholars on the Centaurus Proclamation? The original treaty that gave every human the right to colonize the stars? Stolen by some fool's joke of a crimson fleet rook looking to trade names to Captain. Sight to see pinned above my chair, like the whole settled systems was mine for the taking. Time dances its years forward, and I'd retired. That's when our own Sarah Morgan walks into the tale. Fire in her eyes and her head full of intel I thought I had spent the labor's efforts burying. Of course, I didn't have the Centaurus proclamation just lounging in my pockets. Belonged to the ship and her new captain in the fleet I had left behind. Tipped your ear long enough, but the short line of it, Sarah and I returned the treaty to the rightful owners, and I decided to hang around. Lend an old pirate's wisdom to the mission. Do you visit the lodge often? I make the visit when they need me. Don't mind the loner's life most days, and the eye is important work. But I should make the trip more often. Can't let Walter be the only one tending bar there too long. Everyone will forget what a good drink tastes like. <laughs> uh, well, your artifact search must be a full-time job. That's why I missed your little welcome party. Got caught up plotting all the data the eye can give us. Wouldn't mind the helper's hand, though. Could speed the process along. Okay. Up-to-date planetary scans would help filter all the data I have to sift through. Maybe help to find the anomalous bits. And Constellation can slide a credit or two your way. All part of the mission of charting the stars, right? I, I guess. Survey data? Yeah, I can get that for you. Then we're hand in hand in agreement. Now, get out there and burn some helium. Okay. I've got some survey data for you. You've tipped my ear. Uh... Bonner survey data. Look at that! Hey! So you retired from the Crimson Fleet. Didn't know that happened. Usually it doesn't. I'm overdrawn from Lady Luck three times over. It's a long tale to tip your ear on, but if you ever wanted to visit, I have a house out there in the Starfield. Thought I was going to see life's eclipse from there, but Constellation swept me away. Haven't been there since we started on the eye. If you do go there, turn the lights off when you leave, okay? I will go out of my way to leave the lights on because that would be funny. Let's go, Sarah. We gotta go find Andreja. Sorry for flirting with him. I'm gonna leave. Fast go. Things are things are getting. Ooh, a trauma pack. Things are getting. Whoa. Whoa. There's my ship. There's my ship. Oh my god. Wow. This is fucking cool okay so we have officially made it back to the cockpit after a little bit of uh messing around with our modifications and stuff to get our weapon so i just kind of like crafted and then uncrafted the same uncrafted like i made a glow site for my thing my equinox not my equinox my eon then i made a reflex I, basically just I, I finished my modifications for weapon engineering rank 2 because I want to get internal mods so 
That's my plan. Oh, I gotta power up the grav drive. Keep forgetting that's something you gotta do. Landing site is good to go. Good, good. All right, let's make way here. Oh, it's a snow planet. You know me, I like my snow planets or planets with snowy areas. Oh my God, it's gorgeous here. Nice, okay. All right, we have to be in our suits today. Okay, well, interesting. Corrosive particles, snow, what? The snow is corrosive? No. Oh. Well, that just don't make any goddamn sense. Well, it's space. Anything can fucking happen. Hello, is my, our dear friend Andreha here, a girl that I have never met. Abandon mine, hello, 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 I am here. I have suffered lung damage, people. Oh, we're doing this again? Uh, I'm not even gonna lie, what she just said to me went in one ear and out the other. So I've suffered some lung damage. You know, normal stuff. Uh, bam. I am over encumbered, all fucking ready. We're doing this. We're doing this again, aren't we? Please, please what tell me that I'm you carrying? can you can carry a bunch of shit. Oh no. Yeah, she's full. Bye. Bye. All right. I guess we're doing this over encumbered again. Yeah, I got it that time. I fucking got the mine that time. They take a while to blow up. Just realized that. Maybe I'm being crazy. Maybe I'm being crazy. Who knows? Let me in. I've got lung damage. It hurts. How do I have lung damage? I have all these freaking like, all these suits on and stuff. Zero wire. Ooh, I am really bad at this, by the way. Like, really bad. Mining monthly issue. Permanently increases tool grip weapon damage. Carrying enough clutter there, or should we find some more? Uh, more, please. There, I fixed my lung damage. I, I have fixed my lung damage. But I probably should have waited to fix it until we were back inside the... place. That was probably foolish, because that was my only antibiotic. Hey, what's up? Why are there landmines? What are you trying to hide? Are you trying to hide secrets and weapons from me? That would be pretty darn rude of you, wouldn't it? We need to really sort this carry weight situation. It, it's not, it's, it's no bueno. Door. What do we got? What do we got in here? A cabbage! No, that's lettuce. Something tells me this ain't right. Something tells me this ain't right. It's fine. I'm gonna do something stupid. You guys wanna see me do something stupid? Waka waka. Burn love. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, look at me. I'm super cool. Yep. Oh, shit. Something tells me she's fine. Hey, I think he's dead. Yo, yo, yo. I think he's dead. I'm Don't come any closer. Identify yourself. Uh, my name's Cameron. I'm not here to hurt you. You are from Constellation. Vladimir said someone might be coming. I'm just glad we found you unharmed, Andresia. Vladimir and I were worried. You are the newest member, yes? Do they often send you to check up on other, more senior members? I'm sure they meant well. <laughs> I suppose. And yet you are here. Instead of checking up on Barrett or Noel. We waste time. We should complete our mission, and then we can talk. Okay, well, what's the mission? Okay, I guess she's following me. Uh, hey, Sarah, I got so much shit. But I'm so sad that Bethesda fixed that one thing where you could just have a compa- You know- Pipe didn't even work up a sweat. Yeah, that was- yeah. Should've known that. You should've known that was gonna happen. It's very obvious. Hey, look, a terminal. Or a computer. My apologies. Activate unit. Update friend or foe settings. Recalibrate friend or foe settings. Protect current user. <laughs> Activate the units. All right. Hey, we might have some robot friends. 
Frendo, where are the Frandos? Where are all the Frandos? Hey, are you upset? You really should be. Oh, dude, dude. Always worth checking. You know what would be really funny? You know what I would would really, really be funny if I put a bullet up your ass. That is a com That is what I like to call comedy gold, dude. Yeah, they do. Look at this. Oh, bye bye. Whoa. Good one. Nice circus act. What's up, robot friends? I am programmed to prioritize the. Please proceed with. Ooh. There is heavy machinery operating in this area. Dude, there is, and you're the heavy machinery. Doesn't that make you like the automatic cool guy? All right, guys. Look, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. That is a crazy looking outfit you got on. Yep. That's totally what I was about to say. Not that I completely forgot what I was about to say. Because I'm a total fucking brain. Hey, look, a coachman. It feels good to be using American Venom. This pistol was like... This pistol is still really good. More damage with each consecutive shot. I want to increase its power. I want to carry this thing into the late game. Because this pistol is really cool. It is a really, really, really cool pistol. Oh. Sorry, man. You know... That was kind of strange. Oh, Leadline Space Trucker Pack. That's pretty cool. Hey, chill, dude. Dude, chill. Yeah, get him. Get him, sir. Shoot him in the. Shoot him in the fucking. Shoot him in the cock and balls. Shoot him in the cock and balls. Oh! His cock and balls have been shot. Oh, that's a lot of them down there, huh? Okay. You know what? Let's use let's use Justifier. Hey, hey, I finally got a sniper rifle to deal with people like you. Oh, look at that. Oh, and he's down. Down for the count. Oh, that guy's that guy, that's a big guy down there. That's a big guy. Whoa. Whoa, man. Whoa. You can chill, right? You know how to chill. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know, let's let, let, let we oh ooh. What am I talking about? What is wrong with me? More trauma to the Star Rumor pack? Hey, 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 dude. Oh, like I got him. That's in that that yep. Hello. Hey now. You're in something not gonna get copyrighted. Doodle doo. -doo. Hey! What are you doing over there? What are you doing? You need to pick your targets, my friend, because clearly clearly you don't know what you're doing. Hey, dark matter! Oh I've killed 300 people. Hey, are you alive down there? What are you doing? Just chilling. We all go through. We all go through stuff. We all go through struggles. And your struggle right now is figuring out how to kill me. I'm acting like an over overconfident asshole right now. But look at this guy. Look at him run. He's running away. Andreja, he really isn't bothered by you one way or another. To be honest with you, you're kind of weird. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Gotta get down there. Figure it out. Hey, look, look. Aww. She looks like she's just taking a nap. I have located a hole. I have fallen into the hole. You locate the hole and then you fall in the hole. Oh. That's kind of. That's kind of silly. That's kind of a silly looking thing. Silly's the word I like to use. Why? I don't know. That's a good question. You already missing all your stuff. Where the... Did... Did I... I just went in a big old fucking circle. Well, that's... Something... Sarah, don't do it. Don't do it. She did it. Okay, okay, so we're back up here. We got down to that. We went around, went down to that area, got caught up in a hole of justice. So let's just, let's just uh, get our way back over there. Is it just straight up another artifact down there? I swear to God. Those things are like candy. I feel like I could buy one at my local 7-Eleven. That's another minus 15% damage from human enemies. You know... I really wish that these types of games would let you apply, like, like to apply some sort of skin. Like, if I really like, by the way, my current spacesuit, the one I got from Freestar, right? 
but it doesn't give me any like legendary benefits. It would be really nice if I could put the look of the Ranger spacesuit onto one with legendary effects. That's just my personal opinion. These are literal candy. Like, guys, come on. How did it take you so long to find so little? Like, honestly, it's kind of insane to me. I don't know if this stuff is, like, worth much or if it's a material I'm going to need, but we'll see. You know, I wonder if this is going to, like, end up being like we get to meet some alien race, like, at the end of the game. Or maybe not even, like, even in the end, but, like, at some point throughout the game we get to meet an alien race. That'd be really, that'd be really cool. I'd really like to see that. Yes, yes, I know that there's a special, special artifact sitting right there in front of me. We've gotten a lot of these these last couple of episodes. But hey, you know, if we're doing good, we're doing good. Iota. I'm going through the sea of black galaxies and, and wondrous stars and all sorts of other shit. You did not respond when I called to you after you pulled out the artifact. Does that mean Barrett's theory and experience were correct? The artifact grants the first person who touches it a vision? Yes, not that I've been able to make any sense of them. The fact that it has happened to both you and Barrett is already more than we had before. I think it is important that we discuss what you saw back there. Uh... Oh, man. What I had done. What man? Uh, it was either you or him, right? It was, yes. I appreciate that you see it. That I way. have gotten the teacher medal of, uh, if that's the word I'm looking for. I'm not too good at English languages. May I ask what your background is? I was a miner, Argos extractor. Argos. I have heard of this company. Small, reckless. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I do not have experience with this profession, but I have my own experiences with <sighs> risk. Okay. We both seem to be unusual additions to Constellation. Please, I would ask that you not mention to Vladimir the, the circumstances in which you found me. This is not the first time that Varun Zelitz have attempted to corner me. If it is known that this has happened again, well, it has been a while since I was given an assignment on my own. I would not want it to be even longer in the future. Do you understand? They've come after you before? Yes. It would seem they have not yet learned how much it will cost them. But then that is their fundamental problem, is it not? An inability to see anything other than the path which they have created for themselves. So, I've heard a little bit about them, but what do you know about the Verun Zealots? You are unfamiliar. This is a surprise. Few have not heard of them. They are fanatics, having taken the teachings of House Varun and twisted them into a belief that the galaxy must be wiped clean before the Great Serpent's return. So, in this I would say I have done the galaxy a favor. Probably. You but you've got it, Mum's the word. Mum? This means we are in agreement. Thank you. That is good to know. I will finish here and return to New Atlantis when I can. You should go now, as they will be expecting us. Again? All right, then. I guess it gives me an opportunity to sell all this shit. Look at all these floaty cubes. Ooh, floaty cube. Can I shoot the floaty cube? I can't shoot the floaty cubes. That's a crime. Crime against nature. Crime against everything. Can't shoot the floaty cubes? What kind of shit is that? Copper? Give me the copper. Why are you bothering to carry all that junk? Because it's important. Always use more nickel. Or you're not real. Are you real? Are you? You're not real. It's not real. The fuck? So, how the hell do you... I, 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 it's gonna feel so stupid to ask this fucking question, but how do you store stuff in your, in your ship? Because I want to store all these resources I've got, but you know what? I just realized, everybody. 
We need to have an outpost. We need to have a house that we can fall back to to store all this stuff. Like, honestly, that should be um coming up on the priority list. Because I am running very low on, like, all things... Well, all things carry weight related. This hey, what's up? This is an active industrial site. It would be advisable to wear a hard hat. Well, my hat goes hard. God, man, I'm over encumbered all the fucking time now. I'd like to store my resources on the ship, but I don't know... I don't know how. The UNSC frontier is at, like, it's at capacity. Yeah, we need, we need an outpost. We need somewhere that we can just store all of this shit. Oh, oh, we're, oh shit, hi? What's happening? All right, we don't need our grav drive right now. Yo, what are you doing? Leave these people alone. This is wrong. What are you doing? What are you doing over here? Looks like things just aren't going your way, honestly. Yeah. Unfortunately for you, we've got not much, uh, not much patience. Not much patience for you ecliptics. And bam, look at that. Hey, we got into a fucking space battle. I can't fucking gather anything because I'm so over encumbered. We need an outpost. Fuck. Okay. Oh. Do we have more? What's the deal? Are you after me? There is more. Where? Alright, hold on. Stop it. Where are they? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're playing hide and seek with enemies. I don't know where they are, though. Is something, is, is there something happening I'm not aware of? Is there like a bug or something? Is there like some sort of glitch I'm not? Put up a fight, that's oh. Sure. But we ain't ecliptic. Didn't know what hit them. Apparently not. I have a lot of my crew over here that want to send a heartfelt thanks. Of course, anyway, of course. We can repay you. You know what? No need for payment. Very noble of you. Thanks again for the help. You see out. Yeah, I'm a good, I'm a good person. All right, we got to land on that planet. Captain, landing procedure initiated. Yeah, look at that, because we're the coolest of the cool. Now, I'm wondering if the air here is toxic, because if it's not, I might start a fucking outpost, because look at this. What an awesome area. If you can't tell, I really, really, really like snowy pine environments. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you? I'm going to scan the shit out of you. I'm going to scan the shit out of you. I'm scanning you. Hey, hey. You don't want to mess. You don't want to mess. That was quick. Vasco, what's your car? God, Vasco's fucking over encumbered too because he's carrying resources. Fuck. Next episode, we'll take a break from the main quest and we'll go build an outpost. We'll go figure out what we're going to do there. I'll do like a big mega episode where we just spend the time locating a planet we want to live on and then maybe like building an outpost there. This would be a pretty good start. The air's not toxic here, and that's that's something. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna scan you. I'm gonna scan you. I'm gonna scan. Scanned. I did it. I did it. I'm gonna scan him. Hey, hey, you over there. You. I'm gonna get your attention. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna scan you. Scanned. He's been scanned. Oh, God. He's been scanned. He's been scanned. He's been scanned. He's been scanned. Yeah, there he goes. Hey. Hey, over there. Hey, you. Hey, you. Come over here. I gotta scan you. I'd like to scan you. I'd like to scan you. I'm gonna scan you. I scanned you. Ha 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 Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. My health. Uh, my health is not looking good. Good thing I have a ton of med packs. Hey, you. You there. I'm gonna scan you. I wanna scan you. Tampa didn't work. Ah! You didn't have to do that. You did not have to do that. 
that was not something you had to do. That was a choice you made. All right, we found this, uh, this air cave. Oh my God. Oh my God, there's a big thing over there. Check that out at some point. Caverns. Okay, so we're gonna encounter some shit. Some crazy, some crazy, crazy shit down here. Hello? That's blood, I think. A welcoming, a welcoming, welcome, welcoming. Yes, Sarah, we have been welcomed we by- for mineral deposits while we're down here? Okay, that's it. I mean, sure. Time to sell some of your junk. I know I have a problem. <laughs> well, you get him. You get him. You get him. You see, you see, it's fine. What was that for? Why are you turrets being so mean? What was that? Was that you? Was that a little laser on your gun? Was that a little laser? What is this? Sarah, we're gonna jump us. We're gonna jump across. Can you handle it? Ready? Whoosh. Oh no! No, I couldn't handle it! Oh, God! Don't you dare say a word. Don't worry, I made it, see? It worked. Sarah? Duh! Well, she made it. She was just shy. She's a shy jumper. Whoa. Plutonium? Yo, fucking plutonium? What the fuck? Sarah, I found some plutonium. I did. I did. It was super cool. I guess we are going down. But I would like to go up. See what's up. Do the right jumps. God. I am... Okay. For about 95% of this playthrough, I have been over encumbered. It seems to be a problem with this game until I can find some way to, like, mitigate it. Because I'll tell you what, man. I have been... Enemy? Is this more plutonium? Have I located more ultra super rare a contraband uh, cache? That's cool. I don't need to get into that anyway. What are there? Black market organs or something in there? I don't give a shit. We're good boys. Good boys do good things. We don't need contraband. That's not how we don't need to make money through. Huh, Sarah? That's what I thought. All right, I think we've uh, sufficiently explored. I think now it's just time to go down, I guess. So we're heading down. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, there's the, there's the, there's the turret, the hostile turret. <laughs> uh oh, some donkey. We have, we have managed to run into a, another turret. Turret is down. Would you look at that? Oh. I'm not gonna talk shit to a turret. It's an inanimate object. Don't look at me. That's not the point. That's not the point, and you know it. I can see the signature artifact. Uh. Pre artifact cave shit. Hello? We're gonna go this way. That way looks more obvious. Go that way. Maybe? Yeah, that's more of an obvious go that way for progress, so we're gonna go the opposite way to make sure we get everything. So we're getting a lot of plutonium down here. I don't know if plutonium is like a super rare ultra resource, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I see bones. Bones aren't a good sign, usually. Let's go to the bones. Whoa, okay. All right, I see. Oh, yeah, let's go. There's another turret, though, somewhere. Dude, do you mind? Yep. Why is there so fucking much blood? Is there a creature down here? Like some dangerous fucking creature? Is that what's happening? I think it's down that way. We're gonna go check it out. Well, I just realized too, that's the way we came from. But it's dropping down here, landed me some more plutonium. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing is to be determined. But I'm pretty sure a resource in general is a, is a good thing. 
I don't even know why I would make a statement like that or make a freaking joke like that. What's wrong with me today? Am I losing it? I think I've lost my mind. Right, we're climbing up here. I should probably not have that now. I probably should have like an actual weapon. Those bones are lit up. Those are lit up bones. There are a lot of bones. A lot of blood and a lot of bones. This tells me that someone either died. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. Did, did I do a big circle? No. No, there's no way. Hey, look, you can't just put a bunch of bones all over the place and expect and not have a big monster jump out, you know? I'm a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. Oh, there was gonna be some big scary monster. You don't count. Okay, the marker. I was stupid and followed the marker, which... Yep, we're right back at square one with the bloody bones. You see, survival training taught me that caves are actually quite a good way to avoid cosmic radiation or inhospitable weather. You see that up there? That's what we like to call a ceiling. Should learn more about that. They can do all sorts of fascinating things. So, the marker led me astray on this occasion. Which is interesting. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Maybe there's yet to be a big scary monster to jump out and go boogity boogity boo. Because I would really appreciate a big scary monster jumping out and going boogity boogity boo on me. Or, you know, we could reach an artifact. That's... That's something too, but this is a big room. There's still a chance for a big old scary boogity boo. Got a chance. Scare the shit out of me. That doesn't count. I can see the artifact and somehow I don't think there's gonna be a big scary boogity boo. Do you, do, do, what do you think, Sarah? I keep asking you that today, but you never respond to me. It's almost like you're an NPC in a video game that can't hear me. That'd be crazy, right? You're, you're not that. You can hear me when I talk. You're just ignoring me. I'm gonna go with that. Are you pushing me? Why are you pushing me? What's that about? That that's rude. I have something I need to discuss with you. Oh? Yeah. You know what? Let's do it right in front of the artifact. As soon as I'm done mining all this stuff, I'm sure it's important. Okay, so now that I've gotten all of that cleared, let's talk. Thanks for taking time to chat. I... I really need a friendly ear right about now. Well, I'm always willing to listen. I received a message listen. from Constellation, and it's given me a lot to think about. A message? If it's an emergency of some kind, we can head there right away. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just a list of requests. Things I would normally handle if I was there. <sighs> But I'm not. I'm out here instead with you. Uh, are you upset that I'm keeping you away from the lodge? You're not keeping me out here. I am. Just here. Let me explain. Before I joined Constellation, I served for eight years as the head of the Navigator Corps until the UC decided to axe the department. What exactly was the Navigator Corps? It was a branch of the United Colonies Navy a small fleet of ships outfitted for galactic exploration. Basically, a military version of Constellation. Hmm. Must have been painful, considering that was your department. Yeah, I suppose painful is an appropriate way to put it. You see, the top brass demanded pressworthy discoveries to justify the spending, and money was tight after the war. Shutdown was inevitable. At the end of the day, I was in charge. So the blame obviously fell on my shoulders. It's ridiculous to accept all of the blame. Oh, like hell I can't. You once told me that you favored the journey over the destination. So I'm hoping you'll understand what I'm trying to say. I failed because I was more concerned about exploring the stars than pushing a pencil. 
If I had fought harder, I'm convinced our division may have had a chance to prove its value. Nonsense. No one would have pushed harder than you. That's just it, though. Did I push too hard? Did they shut us down because I wasn't quietly sitting at my desk approving meaningless memos? We'll never know. At least Constellation has been a great success. Well, that brings us to this message now, doesn't it? Call it whatever you want. My drive, my initiative, my optimism. <laughs> it's been my greatest strength and my worst nightmare. It elevates me to these positions of authority, but all I want to do is explore, not sit and make sure all the accounts are balanced. You're afraid that your absence will cause Constellation to collapse? Yes, exactly. If it's obvious to you, imagine how obvious it is to someone like Barrett or Mateo. Oh, they must be itching to replace me by now. God damn it. Don't worry, Sarah. We'll figure this out together. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Oh, here you are trying to help me and I'm yelling at you. You have to understand. Once Aja retired, I lost the only person that gave a damn. I could just keep going with the awkwardness. I'll always be here for you, Sarah. Look, it's clear that you have feelings for me. It's just... I've never had time for this sort of thing in my life. Please, it's not you. It's me. I'm just not ready to get that close. I can't. Not now. But thank you for being there and listening. It helped. It really did. Good. I'm glad. I'm sorry I zapped you in the face with a fucking cutter. Anyway, look, an artifact. Ooh, wibbly woo, wibbly wibbly woo. Too many odds and ends. Time to let something go. Agababa. There's a thing behind here. There's a thing back here. There's nothing back here. I lied. I'm a liar. Compulsive liar. God, I cannot tell you how much of a fucking. Well, I, you probably know. You're all probably very much aware of how much of a pain in the ass it is to try to navigate your way around everything constantly being over encumbered. Moving at a snail's fucking pace just so you don't fucking take damage. God damn it, I got this whole fucking walk to get through. We are building an outpost in the next episode. I think this, uh, the carry weight situation has gotten way out of hand. And there she is. How the fuck? Okay, I'm not gonna argue. Oh god, Vasco. Oh god, so Vasco is getting attacked by these things. Vasco, my dude. Vasco, shoot him. Oh god, they're behind you, dude. Oh fuck, oh fuck. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my, oh my god. Oh my god, Vasco! Oh my god, I'm missing all of those shots. God, I'm incompetent. No! Vasco, no! God! Vasco, my dude. My dude? Vasco? Oh fuck. These fuckers. They fucking hurt Vasco. Hey! That's what you get for hurting Vasco. What is your problem? What did he do to you? Oh, you're hurt. Too bad. Too fucking bad. You hurt my buddy. You deserve it. We're here. Perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. Hey, everybody. We're back. We got all the good shit. We were worried. Why? Was there a concern that I would not contribute to the mission? No, of course not. We thought you might be hurt. Oh, I then thank you. You but okay? It was not necessary. We succeeded. Yeah, we did. Look at this. Watch. Boom! Look at Look that. Look at you two. 
I'm jealous. I tried following up on some leads myself, but came back empty-handed. Yeah, I got all the they good stuff. They could be anywhere, can't they? Embedded in a rock or in the hands of an unsuspecting novelty goods trader? These artifacts are really something else. I catch myself just staring at the collection sometimes, wondering what it all means. Maybe that's how our ancestors felt when they were looking up at the stars for the first time. They didn't just gawk at the stars, Mateo. They explored. They tested. Science brought us to space, not daydreaming. I disagree. What's the point of science if not to enable humanity's dreams? And where do those dreams come from? Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree God, with Noel. you're such the a work killjoy. Is what moves us forward. No. You're with me, right? Science or dreams? dreams? Which one is the true muse of space exploration? I mean, they're both important. Dreams, without them, science has no meaning. Exactly. We can't forget what really makes us human. I agree. Genes and evolution are what made us human, Mateo. Both of you clearly need to go back to school. Dreams are wonderful, but they don't pay for Helium-3. Constellation's bank account can attest to that. You know what? I just realized I completely overtook this whole conversation. This should be about you and Andresia celebrating a win for the group. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I just want to say, these people seem to have completely forgotten the point of being out here in the first place. Without dreams, there is no science. We can't... If humanity didn't dream to be among the stars, why would they have bothered to come up there in the first place? We were driven to explore the stars and we're driven to further advance ourselves because we dream big. We hum Humanity doesn't like to settle for what we have. We dream Was of something that, more? shut up, I am talking, thank you. Uh, we dream of something better. That That is, I agree with Mateo 100%. Science would not have meaning without the dreams of the scientists behind the work. That is what I truly believe. And these people apparently don't. Uh, and for yours, I'd be happy to keep traveling with you. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Noel, pulling some mm. interesting data from those new artifacts. Tell the Rook to meet me back on board the station. Hey, uh, that, Vladimir. When you're not busy, let's chat. Uh, okay, Barrett. Well, either way, I will say thank you everybody so much for watching this episode of Starfield. We're going to be ending it off next episode. We're dealing with the weight problem. We're building a fucking outpost. That's the plan. Or at least we'll hopefully get there. But again, thank you everybody so much for watching. And always remember, live strong, everybody. And I'll see you in the next one. Say good one, say bye-bye. Good boy.